Hey guys, this is Kendra with the Pages Media, and today we're going to do part two of our Black Friday Cyber Monday UX tips. Um, and today we are specifically going to be looking at two Shopify stores. And so the purpose of these videos is just to look at basic concepts for things that you could implement for your store to help with conversions before Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Um, so today we are going to be looking at two different stores, and we're going to be looking at the concept of enabling predictive search on your store. Um, and so this is something that a lot of stores already have enabled, but um, as I'm doing some UX audits and stuff, I'm surprised by the number of stores that don't implement that. And so we are going to look at one store that does it well, one store that doesn't do it at all, and then we're going to talk a little bit about why it even matters. So the first store we're going to look at um, is a camera and accessory store called Peak Design. Um, they have a really beautiful website. They have a lot of great product photography and everything else. So we are not going to look at the whole site like we do in a normal UX store. And we are just going to look at this one thing. So we're going to look at the predictive search. So this is really prominent on the homepage. I can go and I can search for something. Okay. So predictive search just means that when I start typing, it doesn't offer me any suggestions. So it'll let me search and then it'll bring up results. So the search works. Okay, but it doesn't offer me any suggestions. So this is like when you when you go, you know, to Google and you're typing something in it auto populates an idea for you. That's predictive search. So when we go to the camera store, so very similar, um, very similar type of uh, store, the stuff that they sell. So we're going to start looking for the same thing. Okay, so this is this is the beauty of predictive search. So I start typing in tripod, which is the same thing I typed on. Um, peak design and it starts to auto populate suggestions for me immediately. And then I can choose from the top three products here or I can view all results. So here's why this matters. It seems like a silly little thing that it might not matter, but when we look at the research, um, Baymart Institute um, did ton tons of great research when it comes to user experience. But what they basically talked about was when predictive search wasn't enabled, it actually led users to believe that the search function was broken, even though it wasn't. So when we look at peak design, like it's it's not broken, right? It'll give me it'll give me the results that I need. But because we have become so accustomed to predictive search being enabled, that when it wasn't, people just assumed, oh, this search bar doesn't work, I shouldn't use it. But what they actually found too is that it did it did impact the number of conversions on the site. So people were more apt to leave the site. Um, they weren't as likely to purchase on the site. So usually in a Shopify site, like it's, you know, it's as simple as like clicking the, the box that enables the predictive search. So it's definitely worth doing, especially if it's going to increase conversions. Um, because again, you don't want people leaving your site just because they think, okay, this doesn't work. And outside of that, especially like, I mean, any time of the year when people are shopping, but especially like on Black Friday or Cyber Monday, we want to make it easy for people to find what they are looking for. And so when we look at these two, these two websites, I mean, this is, I don't know much about like cameras and tripods and stuff, but, um, these are essentially like the same product. So... You know, there's some differences in like pricing across stores, but it was really easy for me to find on um, one of the sites and it wasn't easy for me to find on the other one. So we want to make it as easy as possible to find the things that they're looking for all times of the year, but especially on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So again, this is a really easy, quick tip for you to implement, check out your store settings in Shopify to see if you have the uh, predictive search enabled. And if not, go ahead and give it a try and see what it does for your conversions. All right, thanks guys.